Graph the following inequality. Y is less than 3x minus 4. Now, in order to graph this inequality, let's rewrite this as y equals 3x minus 4. Let's draw our x and y axes. Well, here is our graph. Now, here is our x-axis, and here is our y-axis. Now, in order to graph this line, we need to know two things. First, we need to know the y-intercept of this line. And secondly, we need to know the slope of this line. Huh? Hold up. What? What does that mean? Ooh. So, let's compare this equation to the standard equation of a line. y equals 3x minus 4 y equals mx plus b. m is the slope of the line, and b is the y-intercept of the line. So, for our equation, the slope of our line is 3, and the y-intercept of our line is negative 4. Remember, that is very important. So now, let's graph our line. The y-intercept of our equation is negative 4. So, let's plot that on our graph. Here is our y-intercept at 0, comma, negative 4. Now, we know that the slope of our line is 3. And we also know that slope is equal to rise over run. So, we can rewrite this as 3 over 1, which is the slope. So, let's rise 3 units and run 1 unit. Here is our second point. Yeah. At 1, comma, negative 1. Now, before we connect these two points, we have to remember that originally we were graphing an inequality, not a line. So, let's rewrite this equation as our original inequality. Now, in order to graph our inequality, let's take a look at this symbol. Now, if our symbol is either a less than or greater than symbol, the line would be dotted. However, if our symbol is less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, then our line would be a solid line. Now, since our symbol is just a less than symbol, we would graph a dotted line. So, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> so, here is our dotted line. But wait, why did we draw a dotted line? Well, we drew a dotted line because this sign is a less than sign. 
That means y cannot be any value on this line. It has to be any value below this line. So let's shade all the values that y can be. So as you can see, y can be any of these values. Graph the following inequality. y is greater than or equal to 2x. Here is our x and y axes. Now, before we graph this inequality, let's compare this to the standard equation for a line so we can figure out what the slope and the y-intercept for this inequality are. So, as we can see, m, which refers to the slope, is equal to 2. So the slope of our line is 2. But what about the y-intercept? Now, b refers to the y-intercept. But there is no other number that is adding on to 2x. So the value of b, or the y-intercept, is just 0. Let's plot our y-intercept on our graph. Here is our y-intercept at 0, 0. Now, we know that the slope of a line is equal to the rise over run. So, in this case, we can rewrite this as 2 over 1, where we have to rise 2 units and run 1 unit. <laughs> Here is our second point. Now, all we need to do is connect these two points. But, wait a minute. Oh, no! What? Huh? What should the line look like? Ooh. Well, remember our rule that if the sign is a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to sign, then the line would be solid. Since in that case, y can be any value on the line. So, for our inequality, we would draw a solid line. Let's go ahead and do that. Within this inequality, our symbol is greater than or equal to, which means that the value of y can either be greater than 2x or equal to 2x. So, on this line, y can be any value either on this line or above this line. So, let's shade all the possible values for y. Thank you.